Please make sure your masks are on the entire time you're sitting in here. Come on, guys. It's been a year and a half at this point. If you do not know that your mask is over your nose at this moment, pull it up. He's an angry elf. I don't know what we're yelling about! Well, I'm gonna take this damn mask off. <laughs> and we are back. Oh, it's that time again, guys. We're back. Thank you all so much for joining me. I hope you guys are all having an amazing day. And I hope you guys, once again, have prepared yourselves for your daily dose of insanity, stupidity, dumbassery, douchebaggery, tomfoolery, idiocracy, whatever you want to call it, we are bringing it in today's episode of Epic Woke TikTok Fails. TikTok mm. is degenerate trash. Uh, Correct. Everything woke turns to shit, okay? <laughs> no truer words have ever been spoken, ever. Anyway, so... <sighs> Listen, guys, I've been finding myself getting really, uh, I don't know, frustrated, um, I guess a little angry about everything that's going on. Things are just continuing to get crazier and crazier by the day. I wasn't sure I was going to make a video today, but then I thought, okay, I'm not in the best mood. Said it before. This is my happy place. So, all right, I'll come on, make a video, come to my happy place. It's you guys in the comments that keep me laughing, keep me motivated, inspired. I've said it a million times. So this takes me out of it. This takes me right out of the mood that I'm in. So I'm so happy to be here and I'm so glad you guys are here joining me. Um, before we get into the video, we've got no sponsors today for today's video. So if you'd like to sponsor the next video and help support the channel as the YouTube's overlords are definitely trying to crush us. We're not going to let them. There's a PayPal link in the description box below. And I will say your full name as the sponsor of that video, unless you want to use a username, a nickname, anything like that. If you want to shout out somebody else, channel, podcast, anything like that, that's how we're going to do it. Also, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Become a member of the greatest community on the YouTubes. That's you guys. And like I said, you guys are the ones that make this my happy place so thank you guys um so join us all on this journey hit that thumbs up button smash that thumbs up button share uh, share the video out so people can see what's really going on out there and i don't even have to tell you guys like that comment section up like you always do you guys are the best real quick take a look at the screen behind me please i have to believe this is a troll i cannot honestly believe this is real for those of you in the back that can't see, I know the guy's standing sideways, it's hard to see. His t-shirt says, I, with a giant heart, and then the face of Dr. St. Anthony Fauci on his t-shirt. Ah, uh, he's got a hairnet on, he's got some goggles on, of course he's got his face thing on, he's got his, uh, his face diaper, he's got his uh, dish dishwashing gloves on. Ah! Uh, I don't know. I, I have to tell myself this is a troll. It just makes me feel better not to think that not everybody's completely gone insane. So anyway, I hope you guys are prepared. Strap in and hang on tight because we got a real banger today. Let's get into it. All right. So today, uh, one of the themes of today's video, of course, we've got a teacher feature coming up. You're going to want to definitely stay tuned for that. Oh. Uh, but also, also, as you can see from the first video of that very uh, angry, I don't know, professor or whatever he was, masks. The mask patrol is out in full effect. Roll the film, please. I was just on the train, the subway, and a man comes on, breathing, coughing, not wearing a mask. Do you know what I did? I farted so hard. And can I tell you, 10 seconds later, he reaches for his mask and puts it on. I just sharted. I don't know what that means. I tried to fart and a little shit came out. Oh, I just sharted. Right now, let's go. You're the most I, disgusting person I've ever met in my life. You think this is funny? No, I think it's disgusting.
I'm leaning towards things that never happened for a thousand, please, Alex. But who knows with these people? Uh, what do we always say here at the channel? What do we always say? Never fails. What do we always say? You guys know it. You guys know it. You guys know it. The eyes, Chico. They never lie. Oh, that's the best. The eyes. It's always in the eyes. So this is our next inductee into the liberal melt meltdown wall of shame. Congratulations, ma'am, or sir, or whatever you go by. Uh, <laughs> um, you're up there with the rest of them. Congratulations. Let's keep it moving. <laughs> All right. Next up, the comment says, question, what's the... <sighs> what the... It's... Uh... <laughs> I'm trying my best here, guys. I can't. Question. What's the difference between this Demi boy? Class Gen. All right. I'll let you guys figure this stuff out. Roll the film, please. Everyone in the comments keeps asking me what the difference between Demi boy and Libra Mask are. So. between the two are that people who identify as Libra mask feel more agender than they do partially boy versus people who identify as demi boy who can be any gender but partially feel like a boy and they might not be another gender either they could just feel partially like a boy and that's okay both of these identities are valid and different from each other and people who identify as either demi boy or Libra mask have their own reasons for identifying that way and in the end down to what they feel most comfortable identifying as and what feels most like them and every libra mask and demi boy are different from each other but we love all our demi boy fuzzballs and libra mask fuzzballs yeah don't you get wacky on me what the fuck are we talking about here the land of make believe <laughs> Feel more agender than they do partially boy. That doesn't make sense. Does anything make sense anymore? I don't know. Um, okay. All right. We're gonna uh, we're gonna keep it moving. <laughs> All right, guys, get ready. <laughs> Our teacher feature of the day. Yes, teacher feature. This is yes. This is a teacher. Second grade. Second, he says it right in the beginning. Second grade boy. Okay. So. <sighs> Deep breaths. Roll the film, please. My second grade boys are officially obsessed with nail polish. So I let them know about the nail polish that Olive and June sent me. And they were like, Mr. Morris, you have to bring us some. And I was like, oh, my goodness. I did not expect this. And then a day later, I had another scholar come in and he was like, I have glitter nail polish at home, but I couldn't wear it to school. And then the next day he came in and he was like, turns out the glitter nail polish is really hard to get off. So look at my nails. And I was like, wow, those are beautiful. Wait, 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 whoa. What the f***? Ha! Gay! <laughs> I'm sure the parents are thrilled that their second grade teacher is teaching the boys to come home and put nail polish on. I, I don't know. What, let's, uh, let's just keep it moving. <laughs> All right. One more of this teacher feature. I don't. All right. I just. I just this stuff. This stuff just uh, really. I. I uh, Roll the film, please. 
I came up with the best idea, and it involves my nails. So every day I have new nails because I like practicing, so they change a lot. And every day at morning meeting, I tell this made-up story, and I get really crazy with it. Today was that I got attacked by Cinderella, and this is the gold from her tiara, and this is the blue from her dress. So now, whenever I have a new color, I'm going to have the scholars write their own story to describe what happened to Mr. Morris on his way to school. Scary gay, scary gay, scary gay. <laughs> listen, listen. Let me be crystal clear on something, too. I don't have any issues with gay teachers. One of my teachers in high school was gay, and he was one of my favorite teachers. He was awesome. That To me, that's not the issue. Having little boys in second grade paint their fingernails and, like, teaching them that in school, I mean, I don't know if the parents would be too happy about that. So don't get this all twisted. <laughs> like painting kids' nails at school or teaching, like not just kids, the little boy. I don't know. I'm going to shut up about this. Let's keep it moving. Of course, of course, this is happening. And we've seen jewelry. We've seen clothing with the shot cards. Of course. Should have expected this to uh, be coming for the holidays. Got shot card Christmas tree ornaments. Why? Why anybody? Roll the film. Vaccination card ornaments available now on Etsy. <laughs> that is the stupidest thing I ever heard of. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I didn't go on Etsy to check to see if these things were selling. But I almost guarantee that these things are selling like hotcakes. But remember, remember, it's not a cult. It's definitely, definitely not a cult. Definitely not. I might check it out just to see how many of these people really are selling. I bet they're killing it with this. It says on this one, the year I got jabbed. Um, no. Moving right along. Oh, I forgot to mention at the beginning also, not only do we have the mask patrol and the teacher feature of the day, we have... You got, okay, so <laughs> we've had dozens of videos here on this channel of people in San Francisco, Seattle, Portland, Oregon, Chicago, New York City, walking into stores, taking whatever they want, walking out the store, not paying. Nobody stops them. They just go in and steal. And now we have pointed out they all have one thing in common. Still to this day, they all have the same thing in common. All these people have the same Thing in common. This is this is baffling to me. Society can't a society can't function like this. Like lawlessness like this, it doesn't work. Employees can't do it. This is so bizarre to me that this is where we're at in society. This is from Seattle. This the theme that we saw that they all have the same thing in common. <laughs> yeah, this one is too. <laughs> See if you notice. Roll the film, please. <laughs> One, two, three, so like a hundred bucks. You're just going to walk out the door. We can't do anything about it, which is ludicrous. But he's going to try to walk out the door. Yeah. For some reason, this company doesn't care. And this guy doesn't care. He doesn't even have the dignity to hit other stores. He just comes back, hits us. Look at this guy. Look at him. Just walking out. Walking out. Yeah, there he goes. There he goes. What the hell is wrong with you people? <laughs> you people? What do you mean by you people? And listen. What do you... Yeah, what is wrong with you people? So, what they have in common, these people that are just blatantly... Black hoodies and sweatshirts. They all have black hoodies or sweatshirts. In case we've said this before, this is no secret. You guys uh, saw it in all the other videos. This this guy fits the bill. He's got a black. I don't think that's a hoodie he's got on, but it might be. He's got a black sweatshirt on, just like all the rest of them. So I don't understand why these people that are wearing their black hoodies, black sweatshirts, are just 
no self-respect, no respect for other people's property. Like, what is... I don't know. I, I don't know. We got to do something about these people with the black sweatshirts and hoodies on, stealing like this. These stores should have policies. It's, no, no, let's stop them at the door. I, I don't live in a big city, so get out of the cities. Let's keep it moving. And once again... <laughs> <laughs> black hoodie never fails never fails uh this is in connecticut and listen if you think this is bad wait till what monday or tuesday when the trial of um trial going on in kenosha wisconsin right now ends oh boy it's gonna be bad uh let's check this out so an employee tries to intervene and gets told no 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 don't intervene we can't intervene this is insanity this is pure insanity Two truck falls up. Roll it. Look at all that. It comes. Ha! Don't! Because you're going to get fired. That's why prices go up because of these. <laughs> can't get a job like the rest of us. is going on. Democrats. <laughs> <laughs> Not a trust All right. Listen, guys, we're almost done. If you made it this far, give yourselves a round of applause, a pat on the back. You guys know I cannot do this alone. Definitely can't do it alone. You guys keep me inspired, motivated, keep me laughing. This is my happy place. So thank you guys so much for trudging ahead. Listen, if you're new to the channel, this is your first time here. Hit that subscribe button. Become a member of the greatest community on the YouTubes. Join us on this journey. We're growing. We're having fun. We're laughing together. We're cr crying together. <laughs> I'm just trying to get through these crazy times together. We've got an amazing, super supportive community here. All right, guys. Like I said, we're just about done. This, these people, they're sick. They're sick. I don't know what else to say. Except roll the film, please. <laughs> I think I just passed a house with um, a Halloween yard decoration that was a bunch of skeletons burning an anti-vaxxer at the stake. <laughs> I'm gonna go... Not that Halloween is a contest, but um, they won it. Hey lady! Shut up! You're sick. I really mean that you're sick! I... <laughs> oh, these people are twisted. Someone's got it tied up like they're ready to burn it at stake. And I don't know if you guys can see it, but at the top, on the top of the cross post, it says anti Paxer. Anti Paxer. These. I don't have much hope for the future of this country. I, these people are so. You know what? Moving right along. All right. Now, this lady's a nurse. This lady's a nurse. Okay. Um, at first, when I first saw this clip, I thought it was uh, the actor that played, uh, what was it, Rocky Dennis from The Mask? <laughs> um, thought it was Rocky De uh, No, terrible joke, bad joke, I'm not funny. Uh, it says, these comments are so sick sickening, no empathy, no compassion, and no humanity. Those jabs are, I'm not going to read that. They are making most of you heartless. Well, I don't disagree with that. Roll it. To no surprise, we're going to have comments like this on the video of that guy that took an ECMO machine up for 59 days who took pride in not being vaccinated. This is where anti-vaxxers like to play mind games and make us feel like we are unempathetic. When in reality, this entire time, our pro-vax stance is to save human lives. 
So when we see somebody who is prideful and not being vaccinated, taking up resources, not, it not only affects him, it affects his family, his community, his country, and all of humanity. We are extremely valid in our anger. Wrong again, idiot. <laughs> So not everybody that doesn't have that most people that haven't got the jab are are, are pro vac are pro vaccine or for vaccines that's not the case these people are insane um but this person thinks that if you end up in the hospital and you didn't get it how does she know the guy was prideful that he didn't get it but anyway you end up in the hospital and didn't get it you're taking up resources and they can't and, it, and because he didn't get it, he's affecting his community and the country and this and that. How if the people around him have it? Someone explain. I know the answer. I know the answer. So anyway, they don't talk about that when people that are clearly like extremely unhealthy, whether you're a raging alcoholic or drug addict or morbidly obese and you're in and out of the hospital constantly. What Those people are taking up resources that, I mean, what's the... I'm trying to walk a fine line here because obviously you guys know the censorship is just getting more and more insane. And I am starting a Rumble channel. I have a, an account set up, but I, when it comes to technology, I'm a complete dummy. I have no idea how I made it this far on my own. But um, so I'm gonna try to start getting videos over there too. But I like to I like to come on here on the YouTube's um ex, except for the censorship. Uh, so we'll see how it works out. Um, so I'm just trying to watch my tongue as best I can. Watch what I say. Don't get zapped. Don't get strikes. Don't get all that. I'm glad we all think alike us, all of us here, pretty pretty much for the most part. We all we're all on the same page. We all think alike. So I'm grateful to have this community. Grateful to have you guys. Let's uh, get to the last clip. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. I s I saved the best. Sorry, I saved the best for last. Listen, this one doesn't have anything to do with woke insanity, politics, uh, any of that stuff. I just cannot figure out why anybody would do this. Let alone make a TikTok clip about it and put it out on the interwebs for everyone to see. This is... You may want to just end it here. And if you do, I don't blame you. Love you if you want to hit the off button and go your way. You, you can't unsee what I'm about to show you. Um. Roll the film, please. I'm just, I'm just gonna mute it because it just plays that opera music. I don't know if it's caught. What? The? You do see what's going on, right? That's not dough. That's not pizza dough. Ugh. Oh my goodness. That's disgusting! That's disgusting! That's disgusting! Ah. That's disgusting! <laughs> 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 Did you guys see that? Uh, that's a wrap. <laughs> Jesus, what? Oh, what is happening? Anyway, listen, thank you guys so much for joining me today. I'm so glad that I came and did that. Uh, a little frustrated, a little heated, a little disgusted, but once again, I'm laughing, having fun, thanks to you guys. So, my happy place. Um, Listen, I'm very excited to for what this community this channel has to come um i have a lot of plans also for goose's channel which is goose tube um i have a lot of plans to upload some cool videos to that with the goose my french bulldog the mascot of this channel for those of you that are new here don't know um, um life's been really crazy lately for me nothing terrible just uh just life stuff a lot of life stuff happening um but I plan on uh, a lot of equipment 
changes in the works um you know obviously the setup here in the back someone thought that we had mold up in the back corner it's just paint i promise it's not mold but definitely need a different whole setup here new camera i'd love to get a new camera soon um green screen coming um it's all in the works but like i said life got crazy the youtube's overlord started to suppress the channel a few months ago so just a mixture of things kind of i don't know I didn't really feel stagnant, but I wasn't moving in the direction I wanted. Um, well, not necessarily. Anyway, I'll shut up, but there's big things to come. I'm excited. I'm super excited you guys are on this journey with me. And just seeing in the comments how many of you guys have been here for so long and are still coming back every day and sticking it out. That's awesome. That's awesome. I, feel, I mean, some of you guys have said in the comments, this feels like... This feels more than just, it's a community. That's what it is. And that's exactly how I feel. I feel like we're all, we're a community. Listen, I'm just rambling now. So I'll shut up. Thank you guys. Listen, stay safe out there. Take care. Things are getting crazy. I'll be on this weekend to make a video. Um, so listen, in the words of the great George Washington, truly, truly, truly stay strapped or you might get clapped. Till next time. Love you guys. Peace.